Follow this video if only you have decided 100% you need to move on from this person. And no matter what may happen tomorrow, there is no force on this planet that will make you get back with her. Now, in case you haven't decided that yet, watch this video first. It is made precisely for the reason to help you get rid of any inner conflicts. Shall we start? Step 1. Cut her off completely from your life. 2. Accept that you're never getting back. If she didn't care about you when she was in a relationship with you, she wouldn't now. So stop expecting. It is not only hopeless, but self-detrimental. 3. Stop bargaining with your mind. If you discuss making compromises in your head, know that such compromises are directed towards the death of your self-respect, self-esteem, and your individuality. 4. Constantly get in a debate in your head when you start missing her. It's a debate between your mind and your feeling. Start using logic. Think of 10 major problems you had with her as a girlfriend and as a person. I guarantee you, by the time you're at reason number 5, you'd be like, thank god I'm not with this person anymore. 5. Make a list of all the things you disliked about her. Be brutally honest. 6. Make a list of all the opportunities you came across, the things you could have done but couldn't because the presence of that person somehow contributed greatly to the opposite direction. 7. Make a list of all the girls you've met in your life who are smarter, more sensible and nicer than her. 8. Join the gym today. You're dealing with self-hatred. You're partially blaming yourself. So destroy self-hatred by self-betterment. Get into a 100 days program so you don't lose motivation, get lazy and give up. Each day you go to the gym, you make progress equivalent to 1%. So 100 days means 100%. If you miss a day, you take 1% off. Do this religiously and take pictures every weekend so you can keep a track of your progress. Appreciate the people in your life who've always been there for you. Call your mom and have a conversation with her for at least 15 minutes daily. Why? Because right now you feel unloved. Without realizing that there are people who love you unconditionally and will do anything for you. Understand and accept that all this while you've been appreciating love coming from the wrong person. Tell your friends directly that you need their help to move on. Don't get into any emotional details. Just give them directions. They need to accompany you to the gym. Be a part of your 100 days journey. Tell them it's their job to make sure you don't miss a single day. It's their job to stop you immediately the moment you mention your ex and are about to share your feelings about the whole experience. None of that shit. Let out your pain whenever it hits you. Secure a corner. Throw away the phone because that will be the time your brain stops working and you might end up calling that person. Secure a safe spot and cry for as long as you want to. There is nothing unmanly about tears. After crying, you will feel much better and kind of happy. Don't listen to any romantic songs. Zero. Don't get manipulated into feeling something. Feel only when it comes from the inside. Stop talking about your ex. By telling every person you meet your tragic love story, you're only clicking the refresh button. They're going to sympathize with you for a moment and then leave. You will be the one thinking about her for the rest of the day getting tortured. Reconnect with people from your past and make efforts to meet new people. If you're at your workplace, strike up conversations with your colleagues. Since they are not personal friends and know jack shit about your life, they'll be talking about office politics or ramble about the boss or even tell you some funny stories. The point is, in relationships, people don't really feel the inclination to invite more people into their lives as they live in the illusion of completeness. So, you need to change your previously acquired habits and get out of your comfort zone. Keep yourself engaged when you are alone. For example, let's say you take the metro to work every day. You don't have to sit there idly for 20 minutes because the foremost thing going in your head right now is a recent tragedy. So, read a book. Not necessarily a novel. Pick a book on your favorite subject or your area of interest. It will not only keep you occupied but increase your knowledge. If you drive, listen to audiobooks. You need to realize one simple fact. In order to be complete, you don't need another person. Get as many crushes as you can. Fill up your folders, not with porn, but with real celebrity crushes. Watch their interviews, fall in love with them, check out their pictures, admire their beauty. Since they are celebrities, your mind knows the love you feel is actually not real. So they serve as great distraction. The reason behind doing this is you're appreciating beauty. Right now, the only definition of beauty you have starts and ends with this person. So in order to end that, you will have to see how much beauty there is in the world. Look at all the Victoria's Secret models, the pop stars, actresses. Go out as much as you can and just look at people. Until finally you've understood the fact that there are way too many beautiful people in the world. Your ex is just another person. The same exercise will also help you get rid of the sexual fixation you have with her. Travel. Take trips. By traveling, you see so much of the world unknown to you, which introduces to you the insignificance of your existence. In any other situation, such an observation would be construed as pretty dark, morose and negative. But in your situation, that's exactly what you need to experience. Your world revolves around this person right now. In the face of thousands of people from different walks of life, you realize how insignificant your problem really is. And that will consequently make you feel much better. Accept that you're an addict of this person. Like every addict on this planet, to conquer the addiction, you first have to recognize and accept the disease. You've spent days and months continuously around this person. And in a moment, she's gone. 
So most of the feelings that you're confusing with love are actually your mind trying to deal with the unexpected change. You have associated satisfaction with the presence of this person. Now in her absence, you're unsatisfied, which gives birth to stress. Alcohol is not the solution. On the contrary, it's only going to make things worse. Avoid consuming alcohol at all costs. Also, you're dealing with stress. Do not for a second think that smoking cigarettes is the solution. Do not get into this habit solely for the reason that you've been told or you think smoking is the apt thing to do at this point. It's going to fuck your face, health, your energy, your lungs, your heart and is socially a highly unpleasant activity. If you don't smoke, don't start. You're already fighting an addiction right now. No need to add more. You will wonder, because you miss her so much, it's true love. Again, because she's in addiction right now, your brain is demanding immediate and momentary satisfaction. So what it does is, it removes all the unpleasantness and focuses only on the beautiful memories. It's typical addict behavior. When a smoker quits smoking, the brain gives all kinds of reasoning so you would smoke just once more. And it never ends, which is why it's important to follow the first six steps. Because moving on is a journey and not a switch, You'd have to keep yourself busy. Start watching television shows that are based on reality and not stupid romantic comedies about six white people falling in love with each other. There are great comedy shows such as Community, Parks and Recreation, The Office, Louis. Watch animated shows, South Park, Family Guy, Rick and Morty, Bojack Horseman, Futurama, the list is very long. Watch drama, crime, superhero shows, anything. Your six months will pass comfortably and you'd have gained a lot of self-control while having suffered the least amount of suffering. Be patient. It's going to be very hard. Whenever you start to lose control and panic, start watching an episode of South Park, take a nap, go visit your friends or go for a run. One thing that you have to accept is, regardless of how focused you are, how determined you are to moving on, such moments will come that will destroy your mental state and make you want to do the stupidest things you're going to regret later. However, the best part about these moments is they pass. They don't stay for too long. These are just mood swings. So when these moments come, don't be surprised. Take a pledge of changing your life and taking it to heights that are beyond your comfort zone. To completely move on, you have to be glad that you're not with that person anymore. And in order to feel that, your life has to be in a much better position than it was with her. So write five target statements. Target statements mean five unbelievably awesome things that I'm going to achieve or own by the end of this year or in 12 months. And they have to be five. For example, I'll be earning 10 lakhs per annum. I'll be in the best shape of my life. I will read 20 books. I will learn a new language. I will learn how to play an instrument. I will buy this particular car. I will go on a trip to Italy on my own dime. Write five outrageously challenging statements, put them on your wall and commit to achieving them at any cost. You are doing this all for yourself. Not for this person, not to show off, not to rub it in her face. This is a new chapter in your life with a much better, modified, experienced, wise, determined version of you. Do it for your self-respect and self-love. Now, this video is not only for people who've had a breakup. This is for everybody who's faced a rejection in their past, can't get over an obsession or has love problems, regardless of your gender. So, without a question, share it with everyone. This video is about mending the broken threads and bettering your life. Also, subscribe to this channel right now because the inspiration behind all my videos is to somehow make you the best you can be. And I'm going to be uploading a lot of videos very frequently and I don't want you to miss any of them. So share, subscribe, and don't forget, five target statements right now. The next video is part two of the motivational series. Thank you for watching.